Hi there, and welcome to a five-minute tour of Spring XD. Uh, it stands for Extreme Data, if you're curious. If this is your first time encountering Spring XD, don't worry, it's pretty straightforward. It's designed for developers that are new to Hadoop, or experts that are simply looking to get productive with basic use cases, rather than struggling through the learning the wide variety of programming models and configuration models and approaches that are endemic to the wide variety of Apache Hadoop subprojects. So if you're trying to just get productive with basic use cases like how do I ingest a data from a stream? How do I ingest data from a batch job? Whether or not that batch job is running on Hadoop or off Hadoop, as most of the enterprises running batch jobs off Hadoop today, uh, important. Um, how do I do analytics on those streams that, uh, and batch jobs as they're inputting data? How do I manage the Hadoop workflow and the batch processing, you know, dealing with retries and failures and that sort of thing? How do I export data back out of HDFS to some other system for further processing? And since Spring XD is built on Spring Data, Spring Framework, Spring Integration, Spring Batch, and Spring for Apache Hadoop, it inherits the capabilities of those underlying projects. So when you're exporting data out of HDFS, for example, you can get to anything that Spring Integration does, or you can get to any data source that Spring Data supports, et cetera, et cetera. Also, by virtue of being built on uh, Spring for Apache Hadoop, it, uh, Spring XD gets distribution portability. So uh, this can be used with Cloudera's distribution, Hortonworks distribution, Pivotal HD distribution, and of course the Apache Software Foundation's uh, distributions as well. Now, there's a sample project that comes with XD. Uh, it's called the Analytics Dashboard. Basically, we're just taking a live Twitter feed and wiring it up to a pre-built user interface uh, that just uses a JavaScript D3 library uh, for the data visualization. Great. Okay, so let's take this for a spin. Uh, I'm just going to start um, XD in a single node configuration. Uh, and just so you realize, there's there's no real magic here. Um, all I needed to install to get all this working, um, I if I was on a Mac, I could have used Homebrew. Um, I just downloaded the zip file from the website and unzipped it because I'm on a PC. Um, I needed Java 1.6 or up. I'm pretty sure about that. I could be wrong, uh, but I, I think that's it. And uh, this particular example uses a web server um, to serve up the, the demo page. Um, but XD doesn't need a web server per se to, to run. Um, also, I just had to set a few environment variables like XD underscore home and a path variable. Now, I just set the path variable so that I can type things like XD shell and not have to be in the right directory. Um, in this case, I was in the right directory, but anyway. Um, now, you might be wondering, why am I accessing a shell if I'm about to do Hadoop development? Well, using Spring XD, you don't have to compile Java code. You use a very simple Linux, sort of Unix-style uh, domain-specific language. It's all pipes and filters. So, for example, let's say I want to uh, create a stream of tweets. I'll just paste the command in here. Now, I'm going to define this Spring XD module called Twitter Stream, you see right here, uh, and pipe that to another XD module, the log file module. Um, and I'm saying don't deploy it right now because I have some other things I want to do first. Now, note that while I am piping it to a file in the log, I could simply change the pipe to HDFS by typing Twitter stream pipe HDFS. It's very simple. Um, now, modules in Spring XD are also very straightforward. Um, I'm using the Twitter stream module here, which ships right out of the box. Um, but of course, extending these to fit your own completely unique and proprietary systems um, is very simple. In fact, we're leveraging the capabilities of Spring integration there. So uh, you can basically just implement a, a Spring, uh, Spring integration channel adapter to um, talk to a uh, your own one of unique systems. Now, um, on the target side here, uh, you can see that we ship lots of these out of the box, and there's more with every release. Uh, like I said, these are extensible. So, um, now let's create another stream here. There we go. Okay. Um, this stream is going to loop through the JSON structure that's coming in from, from Twitter, the raw JSON feed, and it's going to find the field language. Uh, here, field name Lang, and um, uh, count do a count of all the occurrences of, of tweets in that language uh, in the stream so that it can display it in the web user interface. Now, um, also just so you know, this is uh, for real. I did embed my OAuth credentials from my Twitter handle directly into Spring XD, uh, my API keys. So that's how I'm authenticating to Twitter and getting live data from Twitter for realsies. So uh, I'm now going to just create another counter here. Um, there we go. Uh, this is um, basically just keeping track of how many tweets. This is just an aggregate counter. Um, and uh, uh, how many tweets it's processed so far. 
um, uh, as I, once I start the actual stream. And then just for fun, um, let's add a, a hashtag count um, so that it will uh, count all the hashtags available in this particular stream. Great. So I'm ready to go. Um, all I need to do to turn it on is type stream deploy tweets uh, and you'll see the flood of um, stream information coming in here from Twitter for uh, raw. Awesome. So let's look at this in the um, uh, web user interface. And here's my JavaScript D3 component. You can see here that the D3 component is basically using those Spring XD counters, uh, which talk to Spring XD via a REST API uh, to get the counter data. Um, and we're, again, it's graphing everything by language in a pie chart and a bubble chart. Um, and now I'm running on fairly unremarkable sort of Dell, Lenovo hardware. So the aggregate counter here, um, you know, isn't you know doing incredibly isn't isn't processing tons of tweets you know I didn't set this up on a cluster to really try to get some performance so the numbers kind of reflect that but it does show you how quickly you can get up and productive with Hadoop to do live stream processing that runs with yarn uh, today right now and like I mentioned before with Zookeeper in distributed mode as well um, so far reactions from developers have been extremely positive so if you think this is cool stuff and you like it please spread the word we think it's a great project and look forward to your feedback have a fantastic day